بسم اللہ کمار نہیں میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان وی آر بیک ود کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ ناؤ وی آر موونگ فارورڈ آئی مین فار دا پاس مینی سیشنز وی بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ بورڈ چیف ایگزیکٹو آفیسر چیئرمین ڈائریکٹرز آف دا بورڈ آل آف دیز ڈفرینٹ پوزیشنز اینڈ دیئر ڈفرینٹ رولس ناؤ وی آر موونگ آن ٹو اے ویری ویری امپارٹنٹ کمپوننٹ آف کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ دیٹ از دی آڈیٹر اینڈ دی آڈٹس سو اگین دیز آر ٹو ایکسٹریملی امپارٹنٹ کمپوننٹس of corporate governance because these are the tools or these are the resource which ensures corporate governance, which ensures good corporate governance, which ensures that the company does not do something which could be detrimental to its interests, which ensures that the company does not do something which is illegal, which ensures that the accounts are properly maintained. So today we are going to look at the role of auditors and in the context of audit of an organization. Now, when we look at the definition of audit, it is the independent examination of any entity, whether profit oriented or not, and irrespective of its size or legal form, when such an examination is conducted with a view to expressing an opinion thereof. So basically, what the audit firm is doing is, is that they are counter checking as a third party, what the finance and accounts of that organization uh, basically uh, has uh, accumulated Uh, has developed in the form of accounting books uh, through finance and accounting SOPs. So they look at all of these things and see that are they appropriate, are they inappropriate, are they adequate, should they be further uh, reinforced and then what was accounted for and what was not, was there any window dressing, was there any cover up. So they're looking at all of these things. So the auditor's role and position is extremely important in the audit. Auditing is the process by which a competent independent person objectively obtains and evaluates evidence regarding the assertions about an economic activity or event for the purpose of forming an opinion about and reporting on the degree to which the assertions conform to an identical set of standards. So what are we looking at in an audit? That there is a set of standards, could be national or could be international. And is the organization conforming to those set of uh, accounting uh, or those standards or those processes or those models? And again, what is deficient? what needs to be reinforced, what is being disallowed, what is not allowed, what expense cannot be charged or was there an over, overcharge. So that is the role of the auditor and that role is extremely important. Now, when we are looking at the types of audits, there are three types. One is the financial statement audit, which is very simple. An audit of financial statements is conducted to determine whether the other financial statements are st stated in accordance with the specified criteria. So it's very important. This is basically overlooked by the Securities Exchange Commission of Pakistan, uh, by, by the State Bank, and also by the FBR. So we could see that there are uh, different dimensions uh, of these uh, particular audits. Uh, then there is a compliance audit. The purpose of compliance audit is to determine whether the auditee is following specific procedure, rules, or regulations set down by some higher competent authority. So it could be some certifying body. Uh, it could be some state bank. Uh, it could be some certifying body, which again, the compliance audit has to ensure that not only the financial steps, but all steps, for example, uh, if they are making t-shirts, then again, uh, they would have different, uh, different checkpoints. So wherever there is going to be a checkpoint, uh, that will be basically audited for compliance. And that is how they ensure that the organization can produce a specific quality of a product or a particular service. Now, the third type of audit is the operational audit. An operational audit is a review of any part of the organization's operating procedures and methods for the purpose of evaluating eff eff efficiency and effectiveness. Now, when we are looking at this uh, operational audit, then what we see is, is that uh, all of the operations uh, come under its particular ambit. Uh, anyone could just pick up any manual and see how is it being followed or not being followed. Uh, any standard operating procedure, which we call SOP, that can be looked at in a detail. Is there a need to do away with redundant SOPs? Do we have to develop new SOPs? So in the operation audit, all of these points uh, basically are encapsulated and looked at. Now, the auditor is defined as a person appointed by a company to perform an audit. Auditor is required to certify that the accounts produced by his or her client's company have been prepared in accordance with normal accounting standards. So very simple that uh, the auditor has to be very much uh, integrity oriented. Secondly, should be honest. Third, should be able to perform his or her duty diligently and then they should be looking at the accounts or the compliance or any other issue which is under audit and then give a candid opinion to the board of directors so that they can take a proper decision how they can move forward 
in a better way. An auditor is a representative of the shareholders forming a link between the government agencies, the stockholders and the investors and creditors. So again, the auditor has a very, very important position in any organization. And that position is that he or she would be overseeing, overlooking, regulating whatever has been accomplished by the different departments or divisions or sections of any uh, given organization. There are different types of auditors. Now, when you look at the three different types of auditors, there can be an internal auditor. Internal auditors are employed by the organization for which they perform audits and they are paid by the organization. So it's not third party over here. The internal audit, audit is actually a part of the organization just to counter check their own accounts. Uh, they can be independent orders. Independent orders are usually referred to as uh, CA firms, charter counter firms, and they are backed by uh, ICAP, the Institute for Chartered uh, Accountants uh, in Pakistan. So uh, that is uh, extremely important. And again, we see that the role of the chartered accountant uh, is pivotal in ensuring that there is uh, good corporate governance. Uh, there are uh, three different types of auditors, like we were mentioning, the government auditors also. Uh, they work in various local, state and federal uh, government agencies performing financial compliance and operational. So they basically are doing everything because they are linked with government and therefore they cannot choose uh, or opt for different things. They have to do that complete uh, audit uh, in particular. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, when we uh, look at this, we see that the audit firm and auditor are extremely important elements of corporate good governance. If they don't exist, then it will become nearly impossible to ensure that corporate governance exists in an organization. So they are the kingpin. They are the key. They are the catalyst. And they basically have to dig into the organization to find out what is being done or what is not being done. And they have to do what we call nowadays data mining. They have to do information mining, extricate the maximum data, extricate the maximum information so that they can correlate uh, to find out what is right or wrong with a particular organization and that is what their role is. Thank you so much.